Hey everyone, it's Jared with Heat Press Nation, and I'll be guiding you through how to customize your first t-shirt with a Creo White Toner printer system. So stick around as we'll customize this. Now, if you enjoyed this video or find it to be helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. But to catch the latest tutorials and live episodes from Heat Press Nation, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell. All right, let's get started. Creo is making it easier than ever to get started with a white toner printer system. If you're unfamiliar with white toner printers, they're an emerging development in digital printing, paving the way for new forms of customization. These specialized LED printers can print the white portion of an image with white toner alongside the usual cyan, magenta, and yellow toners. With white toner transfer papers from Forever, The Magic Touch, and Nina, these printers can print full color, self-weeding prints readily applicable to virtually any dark or light material. But what does a Creo white toner printer like the 8432WDT bring to the table? With all their systems being powered by Oki technology, there's no doubt in the 8432WDT's abilities to provide top quality prints with little compromise and any 11 inch wide white toner transfer paper. Yet, as white toner printer systems are usually designed for more experienced users, Creo has been bundling items that help anyone to dive into their machines. Included with the 8432WDT in particular is the clear cut industry level digital factory RIP software, plus a remote support tablet with a ton of resources to guide you through making the most out of your printer. By providing first time users with as much support as possible, Creo is without a doubt making their advanced white toner printer systems as consumer friendly as possible. If you've just received your Creo 8432WDT white toner printer, we definitely recommend going through their unboxing video on the support tablet to help get you all set to print transfers with your machine. Assuming you've already got your Creo printer set up, let's get right into how to make your very first white toner t-shirt transfer. Of course, you'll first need to find or create, then scale down your image according to the size of your shirt. You can always measure your shirt beforehand to determine how big you'd like your image to be at its center or any other desired area. However, the general size range for medium shirts is about eight to nine inches in width. If you're using image editing software like Adobe Photoshop or GIMP, be sure to set the document to 300 DPI resolution to maintain high fidelity for your image. You'll also want to set the dimensions of your document based on what preset is on the Digital Factory RIP software. Once your image is all set, export the image as a PNG file with a transparent background. Now you may go to Digital Factory and import your image there. PNG files are an ideal image format for Digital Factory, though JPEG and PDF files alongside SVG and EPS vector files can also be imported. To queue your image or graphic, be sure that you're in either the photo or graphics queue, depending on what you're working with. Next, click File, then Import File to navigate to where you've exported it. Double click on your image to import it. But if you have multiple files to import, either hold the Control key and click which ones to import, or press the Control and A keys to select all files. Then click the Open button. Select the image on the print queue, and be sure to have it set to the print mode appropriate to your transfer paper as we'll be demonstrating our Creo printer with Forever Laser Dark Paper to press on a black t-shirt, the print mode for this image will be set to Forever Dark Black Shirts. To confirm your print mode change, simply click Yes. By checking the Remember This Selection Next Time checkbox beforehand, you'll need to keep in mind that all properties set for an image will be reset for every print mode change. We'll need to configure a few more settings before printing the image. Right click on your image and click Properties or select it and press the Alt and Enter keys as a shortcut. Expand the color layer section on the left and click Ink Removal. Then set your frequency to 30 and the angle to 52.50. Hit OK to save these options, then right click on your image and go to Production Plugins to choose Knock Me Blackout. From here, you'll want to adjust the underbase accordingly to about 30 to 40 and then click OK. Finally, right click your image and hit Rip Only, or alternatively, press the Alt and S keys with your image selected. Once your image has been ripped, right click and view raw data or press the Alt and V keys with the image selected. 
click OK, and you'll have a raw preview of how your image will be printed. Zoom into it, and you'll notice small dots and holes inside certain portions of the image. This is a normal image ripping function known as rasterization, based on the set print mode, and it will give your finished garment a soft hand and increased washability. The colors and overall look do change slightly in a way, but this is careful optimization meant to maintain the image as much as possible when printing it onto your transfer paper. Click the View All Colors as Black button on the right of the top toolbar, and this will reveal all opaque portions of the image that will be printed in full color. The white holes were generated on your image to give the printed transfer the soft hand, and also for it to better blend in with your shirt's color. If you notice any inner white portions of your image being knocked out, however, you'll need to re-import your image and further boost your underbase on the Knock Me Blackout plugin to where your inner whites are visible. Then rip it again. When your image looks too washed out from rasterization, you can always go back to its properties to raise the color boost up in its processing options. You can also change the type of rasterization to use on your image. But be sure to continue following us as we'll be releasing another video on what, why, and how rasterization is done for white toner transfers on Creo printers. Assuming your image is all good to go, right click on it and hit print or press the Alt and P keys to do so. With your transfer printed, it's now ready to be applied on a t-shirt. To show off the potential of white toner transfers, we'll be applying our Forever Laser Dark print onto a black t-shirt. As this is a two-step transfer paper, we'll first need to marry the printed image on our A sheet with adhesive on our B sheet. This process is rather tricky to master, but if you'd like to learn how to nail your AB marriage, we recommend staying tuned with us for a detailed tutorial video out soon. However, I'll still be covering the basics here to get you started. Turn on your heat press and set it to 90 to 120 seconds at 320 degrees Fahrenheit with medium light pressure. For the image demonstrated here, we'll be preheating the lower platen of our machine for about 100 seconds. Place the A sheet ink side up with the B sheet on top of it. To make your peel easier, put a small piece of paper in the bottom corner. Cover the sheets with parchment paper, then press. When the timer reaches zero, open your machine and remove the parchment paper carefully. Rub the transfer with a cloth for about five seconds. Then begin your peel, being very careful to not lift the transfer off the surface of your lower platen. A successful AB marriage will leave the toner on your A sheet covered in white adhesive. Let your married transfer cool down for a moment before moving on to t-shirt application. To apply your Forever Laser Dark transfer, you'll need to change your time to 30 seconds, but keep your temperature and pressure as is. Bring your shirt to the lower platen of your machine and pre-press it for two to three seconds. Afterwards, place and align your image where desired on your shirt and use heat tape on all four corners of your transfer to keep it in place. Once it's been attached, cover your shirt with parchment paper, then press. When your time hits zero, open the machine and allow the transfer to completely cool down. After doing so, you may peel the tape and carry your sheet off and your shirt has now been applied with an awesome white toner transfer. To decrease the glossy appearance of an applied Forever Laser Dark transfer, simply repress it with parchment paper on top using the same press settings. But with your first item tackled, you're now ready to try out other applications with your Creo white toner printer system. If you'd like to share your first white toner transfer with us alongside a growing community of customization enthusiasts, feel free to join our Heat Press Nation Creators Facebook group at heat.press slash fbgroup. To learn more about Creo white toner printers and transfer papers, please visit our website at heatpressnation.com. For any questions, you can get in touch with the My Expert representative at heat.press support. Once again, I'm Jared with Heat Press Nation, and thanks for watching.